Hello and welcome to my 2022 setup tour. I'm going to take you on a fun journey through what my current uh, gaming setup looks like, where I store all my games, where I keep all my consoles, and more. So let's take a look and we'll have uh, some fun conversations. And if you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks. All right, so starting off, we're going to start with my desk, which has my Wii Fit balance board, my switch case, my controller, my extra controllers, my uh, 360 controller, my Wii Pro, my Wii U Pro controller, my Wii Mo and nunchuck for my Wii U. I also have the Sing Party <laughs> microphone. Up here, I have my work monitor, my gaming PC monitor, my gaming PCs down there, my PS4, my two Wii U's, my Switch dock is here, and my Switch is on my bed currently. Over here, and down on the bottom shelf, I keep all of my extra controllers. And as you can see, my shoes. Coming out to the main room, uh, I have my first shelf. This is my Nintendo-themed smaller shelf. My Gardevoir Pokemon thing, which references the fact that I had a Gardevoir Pokemon page for a long time. Animal Crossing Amiibos, mostly so I can play Amiibo Festival. The only sealed GBA game that I have is Zatch Bell. Uh, Scott the Waz Mystery Box, my Game Boy Advance SP with Pokemon Sapphire inside of it, my Collector's Edition of Epic Mickey, Axiom Verge Jante, Collector's Edition of Scott Pilgrim, a bunch of Pops, Google uh, Cardboard, Lara Croft, Harley Quinn, uh, Lara Croft again, no, it's not Lara Croft again, that's Artemis and Paravel from Ready Player One. Over here we have my LG soundbar, uh, Vizio TV, Xbox One VCR, the original Xbox One with my fancy like chrome blasted controller, uh, my roommate switch, my third Wii U, which is the living room Wii U, uh, the white one is the newest Wii U that I've gotten. If we come over to this shelf, we have my limited run blind box. I initially got two of these and they have the card inside of them. I have a world that I built on one of my live streams. This is my DVD shelf, which just has all of my DVD collections on it. Uh, there's two Batmans there. And down here, as we know, Elsa is perfect at holding doors, so she's holding up my Genesis games. Yeah. Come moving over to this shelf. This is my Nintendo shelf. This has my Epic Mickey Collector's Edition puzzle, my Phantom Hourglass uh, promotional art print that it was not supposed to come to me, but came to me because um, someone wrote Wild World on the back and then I got it, so I kept it. Um, my copy of Disney Infinity 3.0, my roommate's Ocarina, my roommate's Zelda mug with some Zelda cards, Mini Pikachu, and my copy of Xenoblade Chronicles Cross for the Wii U. On the top shelf, as you can see, it's double layered, is the majority of my Wii U collection. Uh, it's not fully complete yet, but it's almost there. This is all blue cases, because I wanted some consistency. On this shelf is all of my Wii games and some excess Wii U games. On this shelf is more of my Wii U games that would not fit. On the top shelf, this is all of the overflow. And then back there is the like GameStop cases that don't match. This is an empty case, which is why it's at the front. Over here is my Switch games, my DS games, and my 3DS games, and my 3DS. Down in that corner is nothing. In this cubby is all my GameCube games, and in this cubby is uh, that container has my excess Game Boy games, and this is just cleaning supplies for computer cleaning. This is my roommate's ukulele. A mini amp, and then his N64 games and his Switch games and some controllers are in there. Coming over to the non-Nintendo shelf, you can also see that there is Nintendo on this. So I got this nail acrylic uh, nail polish rack and put all of my Game Boy games on it. And made it look like this. I have all the Pokemon games up top, and then it kind of goes down. There wasn't an easy way to display these and these without one blocking the other, and I thought this was the best way. Over here we got the Mach 6, um, the DeLorean, Peppa Pigs, 
Deadpool, this Harley Quinn figurine that cost me like $70 that breaks every time I do something with it. The first one I got of that actually broke uh, here. The leg broke really badly, it was bad. Scarlet Spider. On this shelf, we have all of my Xbox 360 games, a shell, another Harley, and a Lego boat. On this shelf is all my PS4 games, minus Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 and 2.5, which is in my room at the moment because I'm playing that. We have Sonic, Harley Quinn, and then Batman in a Bat Boat. On this, we have my Vita. We have the first gen Vita, the second gen Vita, empty Vita cases, and all of my Vita games behind that. Down here, we have Alice from um, Alice in Wonderland, and we have the Penguin from Batman, and these are all of my PlayStation 1 games. Coming down to this shelf, we have all of my comics, which are a lot of Harley Quinn stuff. Some of these I got from Joypad Lad, actually, um, doing a sponsorship a while ago. My Batman Penguin thing, this is just more excess comics, and then that shelf is empty. And then this middle shelf is Kyrie and another Harley, and this is all of my PlayStation 2 games. And then this final shelf over here, if I can get myself over there, is these are all of my Star Wars figurines, Count Dooku, um, Jyn Erso, Rey. Uh, the only thing I liked from Solo was the spear, and I got the Lego version of it. And behind all of them, and you can't really see it, is all of the Star Wars movies. And then over here on this fridge is my Commodore 64, which does work, minus the monitor, that doesn't work. And up here is my Commodore and their Skeletor, protecting a relic of the 80s. But yeah, that's my setup tour. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask. Video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.